Dooku, in many ways, was a far superior Jedi Master than he was a Sith Lord. He was, in fact, the most prized Jedi Master in the decades that preceded the Clone Wars conflict as Dooku could be described quite accurately as his generation's Anakin Skywalker. As far as power and reputation is concerned, that is, Dooku was the shining star of the Jedi Order, and although he did not know it, his reputation was well known and even feared by the Sith Order, led at the time by Darth Tenebris and his Sith disciple, Darth Plagueis. Darth Tenebris had a special hatred for Jedi Dooku, as although Dooku had not discovered the Sith, he had inadvertently foiled many of their sinister plans more than once. But where Tenebris saw one of his greatest enemies, Plagueis saw the potential of one of his greatest assets and weapons, as he noted Dooku as a prime candidate for a potential apprentice once Tenebris was gone. Even after Plagueis killed Tenebris and gained an apprentice in the form of the Sith Palpatine, he still desired to pursue the thought of training another apprentice with his prime candidate being Dooku, as Plagueis had previously done away with the notion of the rule of two established by Darth Bane. Plagueis rationalized that if he took Dooku in, it would be in the form of an insurance policy, in case Palpatine were ever to be killed or removed from his side as his true apprentice. It was because of this that Plagueis saw as many opportunities as possible to meet with Dooku face to face, to analyze and search through the Force exactly where the prized Jedi Master lie. Every time Plagueis met with Dooku directly, he could sense the great passion and love for the Republic and justice, and saw that he could be easily turned against the Jedi Order by using these values against him. Plagueis, however, came to the realization that he could use Dooku as a tool of the Sith, and turn him subtly to the role of a Dark Jedi, rather than deem him a fully realized Sith Lord and equal to Palpatine and himself. Plagueis believed that if he brought Dooku in, he may not fulfill his role to the best of his ability, and not want to reveal the full plan of the Sith to Dooku, as he did not trust him entirely. Plagueis realized the power that Dooku wielded, but also realized that he had been indoctrinated into the Jedi Order for literally decades upon decades, and he perceived Dooku as somewhat of a potential loose cannon. Rather, Plagueis wanted to utilize Dooku from afar and have him initiate conflicts with the Republic, conflicts that one day would evolve into the Clone Wars. But he never wanted to allow Dooku the true honor of becoming a fully formed Sith, as even at the time, Plagueis realized Dooku was an inferior apprentice to that of Palpatine. Plagueis also deemed it too much trouble to fully convert Dooku, believing someone such as Maul as a more controllable option. Plagueis in the end simply believed that Dooku was too much of a potential problem as a fully realized Dark Lord of the Sith, and he believed that Dooku could be utilized just as efficiently as a Dark Jedi and Disciple in that manner. During all of this time though, it should be noted that Palpatine was watching and listening, noting Dooku as a potential apprentice himself once he managed to kill Plagueis, something that would eventually occur, although Dooku's role was never meant to be permanent. But that is why Darth Plagueis wanted to use Dooku as his Sith apprentice. But what are your personal thoughts on this, and did you know this before watching this video? If you've been enjoying the content and haven't subscribed yet, I urge you to give the channel a chance, and to force choke that subscribe button. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day.